the need for blood is real. And on this National Blood Donor Month, the American Red Cross has declared an emergency blood, blood shortage. Alyssa Thurlow joins us now with a little bit more. Hey, Alyssa. Yes, it's a very dire situation across the country and even here in Maine. So the number of U.S. blood donors has hit an all-time low for the past 20 years. Mm -hmm. So this is causing concern for hospitals across the country and here in Maine. Now the Red Cross says they have not been able to send hospitals exactly what they have asked for. Now while the shelves aren't empty at hospitals here in our state, they have not, they have rather not started postponing procedures, but we're told that could be on the horizon. It's a scary thought really. Yeah, Did you think sure. about that? You know, you yeah. think about a surgery and I think we got some video of, of this whole thing, uh, what you're talking about here, but you, you got, you think you're going in for a surgery surgery and all of a sudden yeah we can't do it because we don't have blood right. for you well you don't yeah obviously when you go into a procedure you don't think hey there may not be any blood on the shelf that's just not something you really typically think about right. so every two seconds someone in the u.s needs life-saving blood if the blood isn't on the shelf when you need it you are in serious, it uh, could be a serious health consequence. People's lives depend on it. And I, I realize that that can be melodramatic when you say it, mm -hmm. but when you experience it, it isn't. I've seen it with my patients and I've seen it with myself now on both sides of the, uh, the stretcher, so to speak, where if the blood isn't there, people can die. Now that we just heard from Ed Morshead right there, he lives in Carmel. He spent decades as an EMT and paramedic. Seven years was spent with a life flight as a paramedic. So you can imagine they obviously mm. carry that life-saving blood. So he's seen firsthand the need for blood donations. We'll hear more of his story coming up tonight at six. But here's how you can roll up your sleeve and help. From start to finish, the process to donate blood only takes about an hour. Let's see if we can pull up the numbers here. You can book an appointment now by using the Red Cross Blood Donor app or by visiting redcrossblood.org or you can call the number on your screen there 1-800-733-2767. And here's a little incentive to give this month. The Red Cross and the National Football League once again partnering up this month. Those who give blood, platelets, or plasma in January will automatically be entered to win a chance to win a trip for two to Super Bowl 58 in Las Vegas. So there wow. you go. You can make a donation tomorrow automatically. Uh, be entered and to win, maybe get a call in a few weeks saying, hey, you're going to Las Vegas. Yeah, so. and this isn't like some Super Bowl in Minnesota or Indianapolis. No. This is <laughs> Vegas, right? So this is uh, yeah. a donated